Hi all, this is uh, an introduction to my uh, my Blade Theory Type W race wing, which um, I bought a while back. Um, because of the weather's been so poor, we've had about three months of bad weather here. We haven't really been able to do much flying at all. I got this one a few months ago now, and I um, thought I might as well put it on, on the channel. Uh, it's uh, from Horizon Hobby, uh, Theory Type W. Uh, it's a race wing, it um, claims speeds up to 160 k's an hour. Got quite a, a tricky little receiver which has a built-in stabilizer in it. Uh, you can set it up for three different modes, uh, for beginner, intermediate and for an advanced pilot, for um, pure acrobatics and that sort of thing. What, I've got, what I'm going to do today is install the video transmitter. I've put the camera already in it. It's a new run, run can Robin, which is uh, very good for low latency videos. Haven't really tested it out too much yet. Uh, the blades uh, going to be running a, um, a VTX I've got here. I'm going to I'm going to install it in this video. And once we get some fine weather, the plan will be to get out there and and uh, have a bit of fun with it uh, with FPV. So let's open up and have a bit of a look. So we'll start off, we've got the, the main centerpiece here. Uh, it comes with two covers. So you've got a cover here for a uh, Mobius style camera. Both, uh, both, just, both just sit on the top there. Uh, what I've done with these, I've velcroed these. These came with these clips, but I didn't like that, so I thought I might try and put some Velcro tabs in here, and I think that that's going to hold it on a lot better. Okay, so that's the two the two covers you get. So inside it, <coughs> I've got a. Here's my one run cam, Robin. It's already installed in here. The wiring's all set up, just needs the video transmitter put in, which I think I'll stick down in here somewhere. We've got a 1300 milliamp battery, four cell battery, which will fit in here. Uh, it's running a receiver, a Spectrum uh, AS3X receiver. Like I said, it's got a built-in stabilizer in it, which is wonderful. Uh, ESC, not too sure about, doesn't really say without going into the instruction manual and the motor is a 2350 kV um, thrust motor so I'll just piece this quickly together before we get into the video transmitter and the blades uh, the, the wing just clips in at the back You've got these tabs, the wing just clips in, just like that. And that's basically the setup. So I have had this, this up in the air once, it wasn't real successful only because I didn't uh, check all my settings with my transmitter and a couple of the couple of the uh, settings were out which resulted in up being down and left being right which resulted in a crash and didn't do much much damage to the plane itself but it broke the old transmitter I had on there which was a 600 um, milliwatt transmitter uh, so I've bought myself this. This is the, the new one I've got now. It's an Asheen TX5258, uh, 5.8 gigahertz, 72 channel FPV transmitter. And have a bit of a look in here. It comes with its cable, all ready to plug in. I've probably go, uh, I'll probably have to rewire one of these. I'm assuming. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, I've got the video transmitter in here. These are very cheap. I only bought this for about 20 Australian dollars, so it's an 800 milliwatt. Uh, milliwatt. Uh, it has smart audio, 5 volt output, and also has a 
7 to 24 volt output as well I believe was an input not too sure I have to read up on that so that'll plug straight in and we'll have a look at the other side of it so yeah the blade the blade comes standard with its little G at JST here to connect the video transmitter power up to so that's very simple and there's just a matter of rewiring three other cables so I don't need the green wire, the green wire is smart audio I'm not going to, going to use that, all I want to focus on is is these basically so that's going to plug in to the plug I've got here to power the to power up the VTX then I need I need this plug here, that's the camera cable that will be the cable I'm going to use the plug I'm going to use to um, plug into the into the camera so, yeah, so I think I'll cut this one here I'll cut this one here leaving the three wires and then we'll solder them onto the three wires I've got here basically wire this up temporarily to start with and then I'll test it before I solder and heat shrink everything. So that's all connected up, we'll um, just check how this goes now. Alright, everything's powered up it seems. I might actually, what I'll do is solder everything up first, complete the wiring harness and then we'll focus the, the run cam and that'll be it, mission accomplished. Next thing I've got to do is get myself a brand new soldering iron. This is too old. So the soldering's done, the wiring harness is all hooked up. What we need to do now is focus the run cam. Uh, if you're wondering what all this is, this is <laughs> this is from the accident. It hit pretty hard nose nose down when I did my little maiden the other night. Um, still it's all fine, it's glued back up and it's strong. Um, you learn from your mistakes basically. But it ain't gonna stop it from flying. So let's hook this up and focus the run cam. This will probably mount somewhere like that. That's how I had the other one. I think I'll Velcro it, I don't know yet. Alright, so if you haven't focused a, one of these run cams, join me because I haven't either. <laughs> this is the first time, but 
I've watched plenty of videos so I know roughly what I'm doing here. I'll just plug this in and I'll show you what it looks like so far out of focus. So that's basically what I'm seeing. It's an out of focus picture, very out of focus. So we're going to attempt to focus that now and have a nice crisp picture. Okay, so to focus it, you need to undo the, the lens. Okay, so that's how blurry it is. So I'm got, I've got the camera here, I'm going to turn the lens and I'll show you. This focuses the camera. It's looking fairly good. Let's check it as well. It's a bit hard doing this all at once. And then you've got a lock screw at the back of the lens, which you tighten to it. So that's all locked off now. So that's in focus. Put the little mount back in. Sit it in place. I'll glue this all. I'll glue this all together eventually. Setting it up first. So that's the finish of it there. Much clearer than it was. So that's fairly easy to do if anyone doesn't know how to focus a run cam. I'm not sure whether all run cams do that, but I know the Robin does. It's easy to screw in and out and replace the lenses on that one. Okay, so that's basically it. That will connect up into there like that. That's it. It's basically ready to fly there.